Is cash no longer king? Hi everyone, it's Charm again from Ready to Adult Philippines, a channel about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and adulting how-tos. Today, I'm going to be sharing a product that I'm very excited to share to you fellow business owners, especially MSMEs. It's the Paymaya One Light device. It's a handy POS system that can fit in your pocket. So this video is actually sponsored by Paymaya. Thank you so much. But you guys know that even if without their sponsorship, I already am a user of Paymaya. And I was introduced to their Paymaya One, that's the bigger version of this, two years ago. And we encourage all our merchants in the bazaar to use it. Okay, so first, let's check out what's inside the box. So we have our device. As you can see, it's a really small device, as big as a phone. It's color green, which I really like. As you can see here, that's the card slot terminal. The charging cable is USB-C. It comes with an adapter, a manual, and a pin to open up the card slot. So it doesn't just look like a phone. It is actually powered by Android. So it's pretty familiar to use. Here is the unlock button and you are in your home screen. So this device can either connect through Wi-Fi or mobile data. And we have three main payment methods for this. First is here, you can actually use any prepaid card, debit card, or credit card that has the EMV chip. So this one here, you just insert it like that and you can proceed with the payment. So something to note is that if you use a credit card and transactions are over 2,000 pesos, then the customer has to sign. And if you're using a debit card, they need to input their PIN code. So another payment method is by tapping. And if you can see at the back of this device, it actually accepts any card with the PayWave logo. So you just do tap and you're done. Again, it can work for both credit card or debit card as long as you have the PayWave logo right there. So the third payment method is by accessing the QR Pay. So you input the amount, for example, 100 pesos. You proceed, pay Maya QR. So it generates a QR code with the amount. So all your customer has to do is pull out their PayMaya app, scan to pay, and that's it. So they can actually generate other e-wallets QR as well. So it's very convenient. So when you've successfully transacted, you have an option to send receipt to mobile or email. So let's talk about tracking. So you can ask your customers to input either their mobile number or email address so that they can get a copy of the receipt. And you can actually send digital receipts to your customers either through SMS or email. So the PayMaya One Lite device comes with access to the PayMaya Manager. So that's where you can track and manage all your transactions. So the great thing about digital receipts is that you don't lose them either as a merchant or as a customer. So I usually keep all my receipts from my credit card transactions just in case there's something wrong with it. And sometimes the ink on the thermal paper gets erased. So I love that with this, everything gets sent to my email and I can't lose them. So this device is actually very similar to the POS systems that we see in traditional stores. Those bulky credit card machines, insert photo here. So look at how small and compact it is. So I can imagine MSMEs or small businesses very similar to the merchants that attend our bazaars bringing one of these or delivery guys accepting payments can easily bring one of these. So it's really very convenient. Okay, so a few more things that you can do in the one app is opening the options here will show you the sale history. You can void transactions. You can settle here. So every day, you actually need to settle all your day sales. So don't forget to do that because sometimes it blocks you from doing any more transactions. Here you can see the management. That's where you can edit some settings in the app. And we have the pending reversals and exit app button. 
Okay, so as you can see, everything is really more convenient. I've tried the traditional POS terminal and system, and I can tell you that dealing with the settlement is really quite a pain. You have to print out all these receipts and collate them. And yeah, this you can just really do it all from the app and all from this small device okay so if you're not familiar with how credit card terminals work and how you get charged it's basically on commission rate basis so for visa mastercard jcb and banknet paymaya is getting 3.5 percent commission and for the qr codes they get 1.5 percent per transaction and other than the commission, you also have a subscription fee of 599 pesos a month. So currently, Paymaya is having a promo. So instead of 3.5% per transaction when you're transacting with a card, it's down to 3% per transaction. And this is until December 31, 2020. So let's quickly talk about being cashless. I mentioned earlier that cash used to be king and I'm really someone who pre-pandemic didn't really use cash as often. And the reason behind that is that it's easier to track when everything is done digitally and it's more secure than cash. So if you lose your cash, that's gone forever. But if you lose your credit card, you can call your credit card company to deactivate your card. And lastly, and this is very important, especially during the pandemic, is that it's more hygienic. You don't have to worry where the money has been and whose hands touched the money because you're just dealing with one plastic card or better yet, you're using your phone and you're scanning a qr so completely contactless right so those are just some reasons why i personally love going cashless and i feel like it's really a step in the right direction for the philippines to adapt a more cashless lifestyle i know that there are a lot of barriers why we're slower at it than other countries but i feel like innovations like e-wallets and devices like this can really help us move towards that so my final thoughts on the paymaya one light device Overall, I love the product. I love the convenience and the opportunity it gives to small businesses. It's very easy to apply because I've tried applying for credit card terminals and they're honestly quite tedious. So this is great, especially again for SMEs. So I computed a rule of thumb and if you're a business that can have 20,000 pesos or more on card transactions or QR transactions, then I highly suggest that you get this device because the amount of people right now who are not handling cash there are really opportunities that you can get from having a device like this. So in my own experience, I have gone out to a lot of stores and shops just because they only accept cash and I almost never have cash with me. I get paranoid when I go to ATM machines. So that's something that you can keep in mind. And if you're interested to get a Paymaya One Light device, you can sign up at enterprise.paymaya.com. I know that starting and operating a business is hard, especially given the times, but the finance part doesn't have to be. That's why there are tools like this that can help you with your business. And again, this has been Charm from Ready to Adult Philippines, and I will see you on the next video. So as you guys can see,